Hey friends, it's Hope and today I am here to do my November wrap up. Now guys, last week I made a Q&A video asking you guys for questions that is still open. I'm still taking you guys' questions and I will link that video down below if you guys are wanting to ask me anything. Feel free to ask me on that video or this one as well. But um, in that video, I said I was super excited that day because I was switching out my summer clothes for my winter clothes because last week it was kind of chilly, but I totally cursed the weather because now it is 80 degrees and I have packed up all of my warm weather clothes. So the struggle is real right now, but I digress. Today we are here to talk about the books that I read in November and I'm super excited. I got a lot of reading done, which I was not expecting at all. I knocked off a lot of books on my TBR, which is good since the end of the year is literally one month away. So to start off the month, I actually picked up A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. I was actually going to the Louisiana Book Festival at the beginning of the month and I knew that she would be there and I had had this on my shelf for quite some time and I wanted to read it. That way if she was talking about the book, I would at least know like what in the world was going on. But I did get my book signed, which was really exciting because I've never had a book signed before so anyway she signed my book and I also met Lindsay Cummings that day as well. Both of those authors were equally amazing and super nice. So yeah, I ended up finishing this book like a few days after the actual event. I ended up rating it a four out of five stars, but I did really enjoy the read and I'm excited to read the sequel that just came out a few weeks ago. After reading A Thousand Pieces of You, I had Sweet Temptation on my Kindle. This book is a part of the Sweet series and it is Kaiden Rose's point of view throughout all three Sweet novels and I love Kaiden Row. I love the Sweet Trilogy and when I got this on my Kindle I knew I had to read it immediately and guys I just loved being in Kaiden Row's head. I gave this book a 4 out of 5 stars. And then after that I picked up Stand Off by Andrew Smith. You guys I loved Winger so much this year. It's definitely going to end up on my best of the best for 2015 so I was super excited to pick this one up. Sadly I was a little let down I ended up rating this book a three out of five stars and I did do a non-spoiler book review over the book and kind of explained why I didn't enjoy it as much as Winger so I will go ahead and leave that link down below. Next I had Four by Veronica Roth on my Overdrive app as well. I actually listened to this as an audiobook and I really enjoyed it. I rated this book a four out of five stars and I think that I enjoyed it so much because I just pictured Theo James throughout the whole audiobook. So no complaints about that. The next book I picked up and read, I think I read it in like one or two settings and that was Poison Study by Maria V. Schneider. I've heard so many great things about this book. This had been on my shelf for a pretty long time so I decided to finally give it a go. I now see why so many people love it. So if you guys don't know what this book is about, we follow our main character. She's about ready to be put to death, but she has been given a chance to become like the king's taste tester, which is almost a death sentence in itself because people are trying to eliminate him like every day through the food and drink he receives. But she decides to sign on as the taste tester and the story just kind of follows her life and complications that follow after she agrees to do that. This was a really exciting read and I'm kind of in a predicament, friends, because how it left off, I have a feeling that the second book is going to be that perfect example of when our love interest is just totally MIA from the second book. So friends, if you guys have read this trilogy, please let me know below if it is worth continuing on reading. I was just so satisfied with this book that if I don't read the rest of the trilogy, I think I will be okay, but I don't know. Leave your thoughts down below. Then after reading that, I knew that I had Into the Still Blue on my Overdrive app and it has been long overdue since I finished this trilogy. So I went ahead and picked this book up. And just like most of these books in my wrap up, I really enjoyed it and I ended up rating it a four out of five stars. I was very satisfied with how the book ended, but let me tell you guys, it was looking doom and gloom for our characters and I was really, really concerned 
concern for the majority of them. I had no idea if they were gonna make it out alive or not. After Into the Still Blue, I picked up two Nora Roberts books, books one and two in the Bride Quartet, but I sped on through these. They were like really fun, girly types of reads, and my sister actually just got engaged, and she actually got engaged on the day that I started reading book one in the Bride Quartet, which was kind of funny because it follows wedding photographer and all of her friends that are in the wed wedding business together. And actually my sister Hannah is a professional photographer. So yeah, it was just kind of ironic. But anyways, Vision in White was book number one. I really enjoyed that. I ended up rating that a four out of five stars. I thought the characters were so great. And the guy character in that book was just so precious and easy to love. The next book I picked up was Until Friday Night by Abby Glines. I did do a non-spoiler book review and I'll also link that down below if you guys want to hear more of my thoughts on this. I ended up rating this book a four out of five stars though and I will say that this book felt more towards like a new adult type of read. Just a little warning for my younger readers out there. While this book is YA, it may contain more sexual content and language in it than you are used to from other YA love stories. So just kind of be warned about that. But it was my first Abby Lines book and I really did enjoy it. After that, I decided to pick up and finish The Rosie Project. And I had heard so many great things about this book just through people on booktube. And I was really glad that I ended up picking it up and reading it. I recently hauled this in my thrift store book haul. And while I thought the beginning was kind of slow, I really really enjoyed the content, the humor, and just how unique this book was. I ended up rating this a four out of five stars. Our main character, Don Tillman, reminded me completely of Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory. So if you guys are a fan of that show and you like reading, you may want to pick this book up because I think that you guys will get a kick out of it and really enjoy it. The second to the last book that I read this month was Sweet Filthy Boy by Christina Lauren. I also just did a non-spoiler book review of this book. I will leave that link down below as well if you guys are wanting to hear more of my thoughts about it. I will say that this is definitely a new adult book so I would not suggest this to my younger readers and this is probably one of the most intense new adult books that I have ever read. I felt like this definitely borderlined more of like the adult romancy type of read but if you guys love new adult books and you haven't checked out Christina Lauren's writing I definitely suggest giving it a go and seeing if you guys like it. And last but not least I just recently finished the audiobook of A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab and I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed the audiobook. This book sometimes was a little slow when it came to its pacing which is why I think that if you guys are kind of struggling to get through the book which I know that I've heard a couple of people say that they couldn't really get into it because of the pacing I suggest picking up the audiobook the narrator was amazing I loved listening to him I thought the creativity and all the thought that went into building the world was just amazing and spot on and I'm super impressed I ended up rating this book a four out of five stars and I can't wait to pick up some more Victoria Schwab books soon all right friends well that does it for my November wrap up. I feel like I've been talking for forever. Let me know below, like I said, if you think that I should continue on with the study trilogy by Maria V. Schneider. I'm really struggling with deciding on just sticking to the first one or continuing to read the trilogy. I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day and like always, I'm sure I will see you soon. Bye!